welcome to the Selfie Crafter. So today I have an unboxing for you guys. It is Rebirth Awaits by Raven Phelan from Diamond Art Club. As you can see, it is a square diamond painting and it is 20 by 28 inches or 51 by 71 centimeters. So let's get into this. I'm going to just fling the plastic off to the side like always and hopefully not break a nail while doing this. <laughs> so hopefully you guys are doing okay today. It is still a very gloomy day, but hopefully it might brighten up for a little bit. Let's see, is there anything else in here? Yes, there is. And we'll put the box to the side. So the first thing we have is our logbook sticker. Um, if you don't know what a logbook sticker is for, it's what you can normally use it for would be, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> to put onto a logbook um, to give um, out the details, like if you want to write your end date, your start date, um, what kind of colors that you use. Um, me personally, I will put this on the bottom of my box here, so that way I can tell what this kit is for my stash purposes. Um, I know that some people can also make cover minders out of them, but uh, I'm not that talented. And it looks like we have one of their newer toolkits. So let's try and dig into this. And well, it looks like I just accidentally. All right, we'll just do that. I'm the klutz today, man. All right. So we have our two heart shaped wax, which is in this cute little container. And then we have a green pen with a matching squishy. Um, I think that, I'm, no, I know for sure that they come in different colors now um, with the newer toolkits. And then we have a four and a seven skinny multi-placer. Um, we have branded rose colored tweezers. Um, they only put tweezers in the square diamond painting kits. Um, then we have a clear little plastic boat or tray with uh, gold sparkles in it and then also a little stopper to go with that which is always a good thing. I'll just put that there. Um, some people say that the washi and then the cover minder um, are optional so they may not be in every kit but look at that washi isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness, it looks like it's like fireworks or something. And then we have this black glittery um, heart shaped cover minder. And we'll put that over here. And then we have our baggies, which are in a nice little bag, which is helpful. And I'll just shove everything back into this bag. So let's see if I can do that. All right. Well, that was easy. A lot easier <laughs> this time around. All right, now we have our dust cover. As you can see, it's branded. I'll just rip this open and slide this out. Oops, and make a lot of racket while doing so. Then we'll get the drills and everything else that's inside. All right, anything else? No, okay. So we have the drills. They will not look this pretty. I'm trying to put them back in. Um, then we have a little booklet here. It says, thank you for your purchase. Looks like it gives you tips and tricks. And then also it invites you to go to the Facebook group. Um, if you guys are a visual learner, I suggest going on to YouTube to look up stuff because um, it took me a while to learn how to diamond paint the way I like now. Um, so having uh, tutorials really helped me with that. Uh, next we have a inventory sheet. As you can see here, we have 41 colors, <clears throat> and then, <clears throat> excuse me, and then we have four ABs. Um, and the stickers are pre cut, so you can put them on your storage containers or your baggies or however you prefer to store your drills when you're doing diamond painting. Then on this side, we have something that I like to use as a logbook sticker instead. Um, over here, gives you the start and end dates, all the details. Um, isn't she pretty? Oh my goodness. I can't wait to get into this. Um, so put that to the side and we're going to fling this one out. 
smooth on them. So, this is a poured glue canvas, um, which means that I'm able to manipulate it like this without harming the canvas itself at all. Um, and it can lay flat relatively quickly, but I'm helping it out along just a little bit. Oh, she's so pretty. All right, so, <laughs> Um, as you can see, we have the legend that's on both sides of the canvas, one up in the top left and one all the way down here at the bottom right. Um, we have the thumbnail down here with the licensing details, and then we have the socials and then the lifetime warranty. Ooh, she's so pretty. It looks like it's glowing, isn't it? Um, I wanted this one, um, especially since I knew like the Dragon Store from Raven Phelan. Um, sold out so quick I just I could not let this one uh, slip by my hands um, so I did get the dragon store um, so I'll do an unboxing on that eventually but I wanted to get this one to show out because look how pretty oh my goodness um, it looks like that there is quite a bit of color blocking in the background um, and in the bird itself there's like some some color blocking but lots of little confetti bits right here in here throughout the feathers um, so you have a good mix I love how it swirls over here so it has a very galaxy type feel oh my goodness um, so if you also look we have the scallop edges on the sides here um, and on the top that will help prevent fraying um, super helpful especially since if you manipulate the canvas a lot um, it can fray from time to time with other um, with other canvases. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, look at that eye. Oh my goodness. I love how this looks. And it's like um, sitting on this like floating tree branch right here. All right, we got it. We got to get a look into the drills. Okay, so sorry for the noise. We shall open this and look into this. All right. <sighs> it's never going to look this nice again, guys. All right, first string of drills. We have 954, 3848, 3776, and then our first AB, which is 140. So if you guys don't know what AB stands for, it stands for Aurora Borealis. Um, and that what that means is that it's an iridescent coating. And if you look here, it sparkles and uh, gives it like a rainbow effect almost compared to other drills. As you can see, the other drills, they sparkle, but not quite as much as this one. So, and it can also help give the other drills surrounding it a little bit extra sparkle and pop as well. Um, next up, we have 3819, 3731, 993, 977, 3862, 3346, 702, 3314, 3830, 3,816,816,816,816,816,816,816,816,816,816,816,816,816,816,816,816,816,816,816,816,816,816,816,816,816,816,816,816,816,816,816,816,816,816,816,816,816,816,816,816,816,816,816,816,816,816,816,816,816,
815 and then we have our fourth AB which is 130 and it's this bright yellow color. Then we have 814 and those are two bags of those. I will be with you in just a moment. I'm going to look where all the uh, ABs are located and I'll be with you in just a moment. Alright guys, so it looks like our symbols for the ABs are 1, 2, 3, and 4 which is very helpful. Um, so it looks like it looks like that pale yellow uh, was one and it's um, most of the outline on the bird itself. So we have ones all on the outside of down here and then it's scattered all the way further down here as well. Um, two is that bright yellow AB. If we come all the way back up here we have twos all inside the bird itself further down the feathers of the bird on the um, right down here and then I think like a couple of little specks that are yellow all on the outside. Three is that orangey yellow, um, I mean orangey red, sorry, and we have some out here as well, kind of help with the glowing effect. <clears throat> and we Oh, we also have twos here on the um, stick on as well. And threes are also on this glowing uh, branch stick. And then if we come down here at the bottom of the feathers, we have threes on the sides right here. Um, still more threes on the outside of the bird. And then fours are those pretty little blues right here inside the feathers. And let's see, I think there was another spot. I wasn't sure. No, that was pretty much it. Um, but yeah, I feel like that's a good decent, that's a decent amount of ABs. You don't really need much more than that. I might want to add a couple more, but maybe not too much more. Maybe like for here for the swirls and stuff like that. Um, but overall, I don't think this is a very pretty, pretty, um, canvas. I can't wait to see how it turns out. I think there's someone who, some, someone who's already started working on this and finished it. So if you want to look on Instagram, I'm sure you can find a couple of people who have done this. Um, but Raven's, uh, Raven's Phelan, um, work, artwork is really beautiful and I love it. Um, I hope you guys liked this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I'll see you guys in the next. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.